15.1c, Simplify Radicals Using Prime Factorization. Remember, prime factorization is just showing it as a product of primes. Remember, product means multiplication. To find a prime factorization, we divide by primes until we have all prime numbers. As a reminder, the first few prime numbers are two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, and nineteen. Roots of numbers are difficult, so if we find the prime factorization, so that we can divide the exponent by the index, just as we've done with variables. Let's see how this is applied in example one. Here's example one. As you can see, it is difficult to determine the cubed root of 750. First, we must find its prime factorization, so we do a little scratch work. 750 ends in a zero. This means that a five can go into it. If you're not sure how many times it goes in, you can always use a calculator. Five times 150 makes 750. Once again, it ends in a zero, so a five can be divided in. Five divides in 30 times. We continue on with this process until we have all prime numbers. Once we have all the prime numbers, we can then write out the prime factorization underneath the radical, which is two times three times five to the third. Writing them in order keeps us organized. The two only has an exponent of one, so it's not going to come out. The same applies to the three. The five has an exponent of three, so if we do three divided by three, we get one comes out with no remainder. This means we have five cubed root of two times three. We need to multiply the factors that are remaining back together. This means we have a six underneath the radical and a five outside. This is your final answer. Let's look at example two. Here's example two. As you can see, there are numbers outside, inside, and there are also variables inside. Also, it seems as if there isn't an index. Remember, if there's not an index written, it is implied that it is a two or square root. Let's start by finding the prime factorization of 250. Five goes into 250 50 times. Five goes into 50 10 times. Two goes into 10 five times. This has allowed us to find our prime factorization. Let's rewrite it underneath the radical as two times five to the third, x to the fourth, y, z to the fifth. It is still a square root and a nine is still outside. Now let's determine how many come out and how many stay in of each of the pieces inside the radical. Remember, you do the exponent divided by the index. On the two, we only have one. One divided by two does not give us any whole numbers, so the two must stay inside. For the five, we have five to the third. Three divided by two comes out as one five, 
and one five will have to stay inside. Remember, you must always bring down the other numbers that were outside. This means we actually have nine to the fifth on the out, nine times five on the outside. Let's continue with the variables. X to the fourth. We take the exponent and divide it by the index, or four divided by two, which comes out as X squared with no remainder. As you can see, we don't have quite enough space for our next variables, so let's move over the pieces that stay on the inside. Next, we have y to the first. y to the first does not have enough to come outside, so it stays inside. Next, we have z to the fifth. Five divided by two, it goes in twice, so two go out with a remainder of one. Remember, if you're having difficulty doing it in your head, you can always go to the side and do two goes into five two times with a remainder of one. So you know how many pieces come out and how many stay in. Now, let's bring down our radical. As you can see, this is not simplified as the numbers have not been multiplied together. Let's do this now. Nine times five is forty-five, and two times five is ten. Remember to always check your index and make sure you have the correct one listed. When it's a square root, you do not have to write the two. This is our final answer. Remember, when simplifying radicals, you sometimes need to use prime factorization, especially if the number is quite large. That way, you can use the rule where you divide the exponent by the index to determine how many stay out and how many stay in. You can also do scratch work on the side to make sure that you have the correct number coming out and the correct number staying in.